unpredictable like January rain, Santa Ana winds come from the east. Eucalyptus trees in the left turn lane, Mother Nature unleashed on Pasadena streets. Around Arcadia, Alhambra, and Azusa, Artesia, after Atwater and Arlita along Atlantic, big rig trucks blow by Balboa, Bellflower, Beverly Hills, and Burbank, but not Bergamot. Burbs become connectors. Cool out in Carson, Crenshaw, Covina, Cudahy, Culver City, Coldwater Canyon, and Commerce Casino. Commuters catch that crunch down Doheny, <laughs> delivering dudes to Downey. Don't dismiss Dolby in downtown Disney. Eventually, east of El Monte, it's easier in El Segundo. Exit at Awanda for Ford factories far faster than Flower Figueroa. Fontana, Flora, and Fauna. Grove's got ghosts in Glendale and Glen Oaks. Gates got closed in Garden Grove. Gardena and Garvanza. How many hope? How many had high hopes in Hollywood? Who got hoodooed on Hoover? Anybody ever got hoodooed on Hoover? How about hype and Hacienda Heights? Is it intricate on Imperial? Is industry invisible to individuals in Inglewood? Is it indivisible to jump junctions on Jefferson? Juxtapose jets again. Justice is jettisoned in the jurisdiction, kicking it in Koreatown. Catch karma clowns cataloging key kinetic characters living in Los Angeles and Lenox. Look at Long Beach's long streets like Lakewood. Learn about La Mirada, La Palma, La Puente, Lomita, and Lawndale. Meet more see Montebello. <laughs> Monty and Montrose, make a mark in Monterey Park. Maybe more in Monrovia. Nobody knows Norton on Normandy or north of Northridge or, or northern neighbors on Nordoff and North Hollywood. Oh, Olympic, oh, Olive, oh, Alvera Street. Order over in Orange County? Operate on Ontario's observatory. Pedestrians pose in Pico Rivera pursuing passion in Pasadena. Pull one out in Paramount. Queue up quickly at Queen of the Valley. Quest quintessentially a quiet canyon. Remember Robertson, the Rose Bowl, Rosecrans, Rose Hills, and Rosemead. Somewhere south of Santa Ana, Sam Sanders sings San Marino's song, saluting Soto. Tourists take turns to, to, to Trader Joe's, Turla. To Lair, Turnbull Canyon, Torrance, to Hunga, and Tarzana. Under Universal City, up to Union Station, up above University, Voyager's Vibe on Vermont and Victory. Viewing Van Nuys Valley Village and Victorville's vicinity. Wandering west to west, watching westerns on Winnetka, West Adams, or Westchester. Examine Excelsior's exposition along Eximino. Exiting Xanadu. You got young yogurt on York your, your Boulevard. Youthful unity in Yosemite. Zanku is Zen. Zone into Zeitgeist, zip up your zoot suit and zoom, 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 Zion to Zuma. <laughs> hey, this is a beautiful series. It's so nice to see you guys. Happy New Year. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Here's to the end of the decade, right? Here's to a new decade, right? Yeah. Man. Yes. Ashton, hey, this woman is a fantastic storyteller. How many people know Ashton right here? She's a really cool storyteller and just a cool person, period, right? You know what I mean? Let's, let's be honest here. So nice to see you guys. Um, I've been doing LA history tours for 22 years, bus tours, walking tours, and I'm actually about to go do uh, four days of tours over the Rose Parade, and I got to meet a group at LAX at the LAX Marriott tonight. I mostly teach nowadays, but uh, in my early 20s, I started tour guiding just kind of accidentally because I'd grown up in LA and I was always a geography and history buff. And so I've done, I used to do these driving tours to Grand Canyon and I've been in vans that crashed on ice into Ponderosa Pines. I've been stuck in the Grand Canyon with a bunch of tourists when the bus broke down. And uh, you've inspired me. I need to, I've written some prose about some of these things and I need to, to uh, revisit some of these old journals that I have. And I, I love your stories about about just the people you meet on the bus because in my late teens and 20s, we used to just ride the bus and write poems about LA. So uh, here's an old poem about riding the bus, actually just about running around LA in the 90s. Dead city entwines webs of parallel existence and parallel webs of existence mixed thick in the dense mosaic and endless characters coexist on the long list. Students, socialists, tourists, fundamentalists, sadomasochists, actresses, pimps, press agents, company presidents, Lesbians are burning incense as endless residents. Screenwriters, fly by nighters, gamblers, grifters, so many sea shifters. Hustlers, housewives, shoplifters, quick cash seekers. Judicial readers, attendants are checking parking meters. Bums are drinking leaders. Old men are wearing wife beaters. And these are the comical leaders of urban fables sharing the air in the beautiful built environment we call Los Angeles. Density entwines webs of where parallel existence, thick in the heart of the inner city. From west side wood rats to old folks crossing Fairfax, you got the drive through check cash, the lakeside spatial mismatch, make a cold green cross. Backs, the multicultural people mass keeps inching long urban arteries into inner city density. Inner city density. Inner city density is congesting mid city karaoke's around Alvarado fake IDs. 
is 39 cents at Mickey D's. The bus bench is fronting Frosty Streets. I'm seeing Washington Socrates bicycling by on the creek in Venice Beach. This is density. Density entwines webs of parallel existence. Think in the heart of the inner city. Bouncing back, banana bungalow, pigeon point, pescadero, achieving archipelagos past the palisade fern grottos as the panoramic fronds of palms are calming Tom Collins, whose sunset strip sipping as the neon super semiotics punctuates the power of place in this distinctive social space you call your own home. While we decipher diction in the landscape vernacular, density entwines webs of parallel existence, thick in the heart of the inner city. Density entwines webs of parallel existence, thick in the heart of the inner city, bringing you back in the dense mosaic. Density, 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 density. I read a quote. Anybody here ever read Wanda Coleman? Wanda Coleman uh, published 20 books. She died about five, six years ago, but aside from Bukowski, she's maybe about one of the two or three most famous poets in the history of LA. Um, but Wanda Coleman, her career was basically going back and forth between Hollywood and South Central. Uh, she went to Fremont High School. Incredible poet. Uh, she had gone to Cal State LA, but she never graduated. But uh, Black Sparrow Press, and um, they called her for many years the unofficial LA Poet Laureate. I'm gonna read a quote from Wanda. To love LA is to love more than a city. It's to love a language. To do lunch or done deals, or to do the do, or there ain't really much in the way of Duende. It's to love, it's a love that accounts to change so swiftly in the street lights in this third world gangbang. One must understand that, that one speaks in minutes, freeway exits, cross streets, landmarks, availability of parking, and the desirability of zip codes and prefixes. Uh, that was a quote from her in the 80s. Um, probably nobody has written more poems about LA than Wanda. If you get a chance, please. Uh, an L I, I interviewed her twice. I met her, the first one I met her was about 25, 26, but I, met, I interviewed her six months before she died, and then I interviewed back in 2013. And I also interviewed her in uh, 2003. But uh, an elder poet once told me that all of the spoken word young slam poets in the scene that I had originally come up with, a lot of people were imitating someone who was imitating someone who was imitating someone who was imitating Wanda Coleman. And and so if you if you really ever want to, people always want to talk about what the real LA is. Wanda was one of the first people to really talk about the neighborhoods, the real LA, the neighborhoods, whether it be whether it be east of the 110, whether it be the Inland Empire, way, be way out in North Hollywood, whether it just be, so um, Wanda's incredible. How, how, anybody here, by the way, live in North Hollywood? Anybody here know about the Great Wall of Los Angeles, the, the 2,800 foot long mural painted by Judy Baca over seven summers? I, I just took my class out there. Um, it was up until recently the longest mural in the world, and it's a people's history of Los Angeles. It basically goes from the La Brea Tar Pits all the way to the 1984 Olympics. But Judy Baca, she's now in her 70s, but incredible woman. She's painted over 150 murals in L.A. She had a program called the Neighborhood Pride Program where they went to every different neighborhood and they used murals to tell people's history, public history. Not You know how they always say history is written by the victors? Her history was more about women, people of color, LGBT. And so um, the Great Wall of Los Angeles, if you've never seen it before, check it out. It's on Coldwater Canyon, and it's a real L.A. education. And here's a poem about it. This is a poem dedicated to Judy Baca. Judy Baca paints to interrogate. Whose monument where? Whose story do we tell? Baca paints public history, inventory in the inner city. The Chumash animal spirits escaped the La Brea Tar Pits, canoeing to the Channel Islands with a school of blue dolphins. California was Turtle Island before, before Gente de Razón colonized. Long before Cabrillo and Portola, grizzlies roamed the floor of marshlands and willow thickets, the legend of Califa. Unipero Serra, 21 Spanish missions, 44 Pobladores built the Pueblo. The Great Wall of Los Angeles travels chronologically, recording social memory, the technicolor trajectory of the city beneath. Spanish land grants in Pio Pico, California ranchos, the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, the California Gold Rush, Sutter's Mill to San Francisco, Joaquin Murrieta, the original Zorro. Chinese built the railroad only to be massacred in 1871, the largest mass lynching in American history. The rise of California citrus, see the selective traditions, collisions at the crossroads, unsigned Indian treaties, the boom of the 1880s, LA mountains to the shore, women in the war riding the red car, 
the California aqueduct, draining the Owens Valley, children working at factories, striking workers, the market crash, prohibition, you better speak easy or the cops will come. People's history profiles women and people of color, celebrating civic identity, honoring ancestors. David Alfaro Siquieros, Alvera Street in America Tropical. Facadism and a whitewashed adobe. City fathers whitewashed your mural, but they can't whitewash history. Polyangular perspective, a hazardous metropolis, environmental justice, Boyle Heights demands in our, the 442nd Battalion, the Gopher Broke Unit. Brooklyn Avenue was Jewish. The Red Scare, McCarthyism, division of the barrios, concretizing an ancient river, forebearers of civil rights, destruction of Chavez Ravine, popular culture in the age of white flight, farewell to Rosie the River, goodbye to Dust Bowl refugees, the Great Train robbery, illusions of prosperity, Baca paints with City Hall forgot, <coughs> Luis Mar Luisa Moreno in the Bracero program, Dr. Charles Drew, Dr. Charles Drew's influence, David Gonzalez of Pacoima, the federal highway system, the birth of rock and roll, stole soul from Big Mama Thornton, an age of appropriation, erasure and assimilation, our shared human condition, a, photo, a choreographed dance, singing gospel from the streets. We fight fascism at home and abroad. Who we can be in solidarity, honoring stories, uprising of the mujeres, mi abalita, mural making is social practice, organizing our friend, the collaborate first, then paint. Calling all couch potatoes, sing the song of suburbia, somewhere in San Fernando, turn on your television set, turn up in your tracked house, take up the sword of justice, be on the lookout for monarch butterflies, a new era of art and expansion, end housing segregation, right the wrongs of repatriation, okay boomer, come along Coldwater Canyon, the battle for Los Angeles, reconciling historic narratives, whose story do we tell, whose monument where? All right, this is gonna be my last piece. This is a uh, first piece in my book, Letters to My City. I'm still alive in Los Angeles. I'm still alive in Los Angeles. I'm still alive in Los Angeles, even as the price of rent rises and gridlock strangles central arteries. I'm old enough to remember disco parties and the build up to the 1984 Olympics and news reporters like Jerry Duffy and Hal Fishman. I remember when Fernando Valenzuela was a rookie. <laughs> Years before I loved Wanda Coleman and Bukowski, my first LA poets were Chick Hearn and Vince Scully. Then I read Mike Davis and Kerry McWilliams and watched the gospel of Hugh Hauser, looking at things that are hard to hear anymore. Recalling former glory like Ralph's story, I'm still exploring from Panorama City to Pomona. I'm still alive in Los Angeles as they build high-speed trains down Crenshaw and out into the San Gabriel Valley. Changes in transportation for the new generation foreshadow the nation's transformation as millennials on bicycles call for return of the Garden City. <laughs> Green in the 21st century is a matter of survival. Witness the revival of the wetlands. The riparian watershed is a sentinel for sustainability. Unbridled consumption is a liability. Observe residents of Angel City playing their part to restore nature's heart. I'm still alive in Los Angeles, from festivals to funerals, baby showers to weddings. Each generation ever more beautiful, reality is ever musical. Throngs of people mix and match, creating the patchwork mosaic of multicultural souls coming together to call LA home. The community is a poem in progress called Los Angeles. The angels in the city sing the synchronicity from Central to Century City. Olympic was 10th Street and Pio Pico was the last governor of California when it belonged to Mexico. He was born a Spanish citizen. See the city's end, so into Satoy on a Saturday morning, circling the Evergreen Cemetery or hiking up hills in Culver City. I'm still alive in Los Angeles as mom has monitored laundromats from Lancashire to Long Beach. I walk the long streets from Magnolia to Manchester, Rosemead to Redondo Beach. I'm still alive in Los Angeles, though there's no more open space. Most of the wetlands have been replaced by condos, Trader Joe's, and makeshift dog parks. The expanding corporate heart charts a frenzied facelift of never-ending Christmas, but only a few are on that wish list. There's a generation of kids on Snapchat, and commuters want that fast track. Alive in Los Angeles. I'm still alive in Los Angeles, thanks to family, friends, and poetry. The past, present, and future of my city gives me energy. <laughs> Untold generations of history from Biddy Mason to Chavez Ravine to Toyo Miyataki, punctuating the power of place, turning the page, sharing authority, because we all share the story of the city unfolding. There's no hierarchy. We all belong to this city. It's oral history. I'm still alive in Los Angeles. And today I drive around LA with my son and daughter like I once rode with my grandfather. There's no more Perinos or the Brown Derby, but there's still Fossilmans, Coles, Philippe's in the pantry. My children spill ice cream in the back seat with me together we are alive in a city of destiny. I'm still alive in Los Angeles. I am still alive in Los Angeles. I am still alive in Los Angeles. LA! Yeah. Thank you so much. And thank you, Scott. Scott Schultz is the dude, you guys. Give it up for this one.
here, right? Yeah. Letters to my city. Letters to my city. It's available up front. Poet Mike. Mike Sonson, let's hear it for him. How amazing is that? I'm going to keep this show going, but i got to point out, it's so funny, like a stand-up comedy show is